Welcome back to Men's Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about doxycycline. Very common, very cheap antibiotic on the market. It works by inhibiting protein synthesis of the bacteria. Now, um, it can be used for a very, very wide range of uh, bacterial infections out there. So it hits you know, gram positive and gram negative and it's some anaerobic as well. So we're talking about anything from acne, which a lot of people don't realize acne is actually a bacterial infection, right? Uh, those pus pockets, the acne pimples and stuff you get, that's just a pocket full of like bacterial pus in there. So, um, but anything from acne to STDs to respiratory infections to uh, periodontitis, I mean really this is there's so many different infections out there that this can treat, I'm not even going to go through the list, um, but doctors have this as one of many different agents in their arsenal to fix whatever bacterial infection you have. And if you fail on one, you can always try a different antibiotic and that usually will do the trick. So it's all about finding the right fit. Um, let's see here. Uh, you don't need to adjust this if you have any renal or liver issues, which is really, really great. Um, <clears throat> for women that are pregnant, this is actually safe to take. Uh, you do always have to weigh out antibiotic use in pregnancy, so you know, obviously refer to your uh, OBGYN up for this one. If you are lactating, there's this thing called RID, relative infant dose, and you have to watch out for that. So if you have to be on this medication uh, during lactation, then you want to be able to check the levels of your milk, make sure the baby's not getting too much. As long as they're under a certain limit, it's safe. If you go over, then you run the risk of side effects getting into the baby. <clears throat> Immediate releases tend to peak in about 1.5 hours to 4 hours. The extended release versions of doxycycline can peak anywhere from 2.8 hours to um, 3 hours, I believe. So, you know, that's a nice little range there. Um, and it, so it generally comes on pretty quick, which is why doxycycline is usually, I don't want to step on any toes of some doctors here, usually taken twice a day, morning, night. You can take it three times a day. I've seen that dosing. I've seen one a day dosing as well. It just really depends. Um, obviously, for things like um, acne, you only take it once a day, and it's like a small delayed release uh, capsule that you'll take. So you don't take it twice a day uh, for acne, but for more serious infections, yeah, you, you're taking it multiple times a day. I'm gonna put up a list of side effects here. What's kind of crazy about this medication that you want to watch out for is it could kind of give you a spike in your, high, in your blood pressure. So people who have high blood pressure, you should watch out for this medication a little bit. Maybe let your doctor know. Um, you know, your doctor should already know what, what you have. But just in case if you're seeing a new doctor, let them know, hey, I have high blood pressure because this could kind of spike you a little bit. GI upset is always huge with antibiotics. Um, you could even have, end up having some like nasal congestion and nasal issues as well. Um, the other big thing about doxycycline is it's a tetracycline antibiotic, and so there's always an issue of photosensitivity. So <clears throat> let's say it's summertime, um, you're on this medication, if you're out in the sun a lot, you are going to sunburn very, very easily while on this medication, right? Uh, and so you want to watch out for that. Uh, it's not that it's anything particularly crazy, it doesn't really harm you in any sort of way, but you'll notice yourself like tan more, you'll burn quicker. It's just something about these tetracycline antibiotics in your skin and the sun, you just want to watch out for it a little bit. Um, should you wear sunscreen? Sure, you can do that, uh, but you just kind of avoid the sun a little bit. Um, dress appropriately while you're on, you know, the one or two weeks uh, course of this antibiotic. Um, if you're taking it again, like you're for acne and stuff like that, then you may want to start using uh, sunscreen and stuff like that daily. Maybe tell your kids to do that. If, if it's usually the kids that are on it's Solodine is the name of the brand name of the medication that, that's used for the, the acne. So things like that you kind of want to watch out. But otherwise, very, very easy medication to take. You generally, don't see too many problems with it. Um, there's never really a consensus on your vitamins and your minerals. Um, generally, they say you should take your vitamins and minerals two hours before you take your doxycycline or four hours after taking a doxycycline. This way your body's completely digested and absorbed the uh, antibiotic before you take your vitamins and minerals because vitamins and minerals tend to interfere with uh, the antibiotic effect of the medication. So you're not doing yourself justice if you're taking antibiotics and stuff like that with your vitamins and things like that because then that's going to decrease the efficacy and how well it works. So we don't want that. We want your antibiotic to work when it's going to work and then we want you to get off the antibiotic, right? So. Um, so just keep that in mind, kind of the same goes for milk, milk has a lot of calcium and vitamin D in it, so same thing, you want to space that out with, it, with your pills as well. 
Um, other than that, I think it's okay. I think um, if they're tablets, don't crush them. If they're capsules, you can open them. I'll put them in juice, put them in um, puddings, applesauces, things like that if you need to, if there's a sort of a palatability issue. Sometimes I've seen some of these doxycycline capsules get kind of, kind of big. So a lot of people have an aversion of being able to swallow big, big pills. So just keep that in mind. Guys, I think that's it. So comments, concerns, leave them down below. We'll answer any questions you got. Hit subscribe, let us know how to do with the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.